Hi, I'm Mike Cerny. Uh, I'm with Charter Brokerage. I'm the Chief Legal Officer at Charter Brokerage. People know us. We're out of Houston, and uh, people know us a lot for the petroleum and gas industry, and we're also the largest filer of uh, duty drawback in the country. And Charter Brokerage has been around for a while. These are some good folks, uh, but uh, we kind of uh, conference veterans as well, getting to yeah. see you at uh, several different venues. What do you think about the Brokers Association here in this particular conference? Has there been uh, any surprises or is it uh, you're able to see what the priorities are for the next year? So I, I always get a lot out of this conference. Um, the Brokers Organization is, I'm involved with a lot of different trade organizations. The Brokers Organization is, is really one of the best out there. Uh, we get great information every year. And uh, I would say that this year's conference, no different, uh, mm -hmm. tremendous information and also we're here in the exhibit room mm -hmm. and i have to tell you impressive this year a lot of exhibitors lot of and not just every exhibitor it's really people who we want to see i will say that uh, so great conference great organization um, i always enjoy coming here and they put on a great program well i will say that there are a lot of vendors and area exhibitors here and it, it, like you said uh, from my perspective uh, it's been upbeat. It's and it's a lot of good interaction. So hopefully that's uh, as far as encouraging people check out these vendors, even if you may not feel like you've uh, you have a need for the service, right? Uh, and how about and, and Andy? How about the fact that we're seeing so many of these now that they're here talking about AI? Mm -hmm. I mean that that's a change. Four or five years ago, you're not hearing anything about it, but today there's got to be about four or five vendors that are here talking about AI. And it just tells you how, um, you know, it's keeping um, NCBFAA and its members on that cutting edge. Because mm -hmm. that, that really is a cutting edge of what, what's coming for, for all businesses. And particularly in our industry where AI promises to be able to offer a lot of uh, advantages. Outstanding. I love it. I love it. Folks, listen. If you are a licensed broker or you are in the freight forwarding industry and you're not here, this is one that you ought to consider. One, you ought to consider joining the organization, but second, plan on attending. If you are a company that uh, has some folks they need to be sent to these kinds of conferences to rub elbows, get involved and all that, what about the committees and the different things that this organization has? Um, do you support the involvement of a lot of members or, or, or upper echelon or the front line or what? So the committees, that's where the rubber hits the road. I mean, I'll tell you, our committees do a lot of work for brokers and you get a lot of information out of it, but they also are working with customs on a regular basis. Customs, the PGAs, um, commerce, um, uh, census, um, those committees are um, pushing our issues but also at the same time, letting these or uh, the government know what our needs are and what our clients' needs are. So um, I I wholeheartedly support folks. If you come in, the, one of the great benefits is getting involved with a committee and working with that committee. You'll gain relationships with uh, the government, but at the same time, you'll gain relationships with your uh, colleagues. Mm -hmm. uh, we're competitors, but at the same time, we. Uh, are all pushing up our, you know, the agenda of brokers and forwarders in general, yeah. and it is um, enlightening and uh, fantastic to have have that. Yeah.